Over the past 90 years, the Harlem Globetrotters have only retired six jerseys, honoring the biggest names and legends in the team's glorious history, including Wilt Chamberlain, Marcus Haynes, Metal Lark Levin, Goose Tatum, Curly Neal, and Tex Harrison. Tonight, we will add a seventh, as Herbert Gisosby will join former Globetrotter greats as the only players to have their numbers retired. Gisosby. Hey, man, uh, you got to smile when you say that. I love Gee Sosby. As a showman, that's who I mark my game after. I watch film all the time of him. And he was funny then, he's funny now. Not a lot of legends, but he's one of them. And I packed my game after Geese. One of the most popular and recognizable Globetrotters ever. Geese thrilled audiences with his awesome talent and effervescent personality around the world for 24 years. Watching Geese back in the day, his, his style of showmanship was unbelievable. And he told me, he was like, just go have fun. Like, no matter what, just go have a good time. You're going to do great. You know, I can tell that your teammates love you. And he was like, that's the most important thing. He served as the clown prince for the Globetrotters from 1961 to 1985, playing in over 100 countries before millions of fans. Geese continued on for many years as a coach for the team after his playing days. To hear that voice and to see, go back and watch video and you still hear that voice, it, you know, it always, it always stayed with me. When I played with Metal Art, Metal Art was a perfectionist. Pretty much you knew what Metal Art was going to do every night. When I got with Geese, I, I didn't know if he was, sometimes was he was still in the building, man. He looked, where's Geese? He might be up selling popcorn. And that was the aspect I loved about Geese and I think I got a little bit of that from Geese. Uh, he was a man, he was a free spirit. He was a very free spirit. And he loved the game. He was a showman that lived on the edge. And uh, you know the, the, the thing when we, he takes a lady purse, James Brown couldn't dance like that. You gotta see the move Geese got, man, I tell you. Whoa! I feel good. I knew that I wouldn't. I feel good. He was part of one of the most extraordinary eras in the team's history, appearing on several popular television programs and specials, including ABC's Wide World of Sports, CBS Sports Spectacular, The Ed Sullivan Show, The Harlem Globetrotters Popcorn Machine, The White Shadow, and The Harlem Globetrotters on Gilligan's Island. He also appeared in numerous national television commercials and was immortalized in animation on the Harlem Globetrotters cartoon series and on episodes of Scooby-Doo. A native of Crescent, Oklahoma, Geese attended Philander Smith College in Little Rock, where he averaged 30 points a game during his college career. He has made Little Rock his home for over 50 years. Tonight, we salute number 35. Geese Osby, congratulations.